We present Bacon, Band Limited Coordinate Networks for Multiscale Scene Representation. Coordinate networks are fully connected neural networks that map input coordinates to an output signal value. These networks are commonly trained to overfit a particular signal, such as pixel values in an image, neural radiance fields, or 3D shapes through a sign distance function. Usually, coordinate networks can represent a signal using far fewer parameters than conventional representations, such as arrays or voxel grids, which require fine discretization. However, coordinate networks are black boxes. Behavior at unsupervised input coordinates is difficult to predict, and current representations are not scale-aware, so we cannot easily ensure low-resolution network outputs are properly anti-aliased. We propose Band Limited Coordinate Networks, or BACON, to address these limitations. This architecture has an analytical Fourier spectrum, so its behavior can be characterized even at unsupervised points, and we can constrain the outputs of the network to desired resolution scales. Closest to our work are other coordinate-based networks such as Siren and networks using Fourier features positional encodings. These networks are designed to represent signals at a single scale. Recently, the MIPNERF architecture introduced a scale-aware coordinate network that allows controlling the output resolution by adjusting the positional encoding and supervising across multiple scales. Other multiscale methods have been proposed for neural rendering and shape representation, for example by storing features in an oct tree or other hierarchical representations. Still, these architectures are black boxes with no guarantees on the band-limited resolution of multiscale outputs. Our work differs in that Bacon learns a multiscale decomposition of the signal even without explicit supervision at multiple scales. Rather than using a conventional, fully connected network architecture, Bacon builds on recently proposed multiplicative filter networks, or MFNs, which interleave linear layers and Hadamard products between sign activations. We develop the theory of MFNs significantly, with new tools to describe and manipulate the Fourier spectra of these networks, and a new initialization scheme that allows training deep networks. We motivate our architecture with a 1D example. Supervising with Siren or Fourier features results in artifacts between the supervised points. A Fourier transform of the densely sampled network output shows the corresponding non-zero high-frequency components. We constrain the bandwidth of Bacon to the maximum bandwidth of the signal, and we see that it learns band-limited interpolation between the supervised points. We can also perform low-pass filtering by lowering the network bandwidth. The inputs to the network consist of several layers with a sign nonlinearity. The first of these inputs is fed into a linear layer, and then this is combined with the following layers via Hadamard product. Outputs are extracted by applying linear layers to the results of these Hadamard products. To constrain the frequencies represented by the network, we randomly initialize the frequencies of each input layer to values falling within a specified bandwidth. The Hadamard product then results in a multiplication of signs, which produces new signs at the sum and difference of the frequencies. If we apply this identity through each layer of the network, we see that the whole network can be reduced to a single sum of signs, and the maximum possible frequency in this sum is simply the sum of the bandwidths at each layer. Since all outputs of the network have a constrained bandwidth, we can supervise all outputs on a signal at a single scale, and the network learns band-limited representations. In the supplemental, we provide detailed derivations of the number of signs represented by the network and the distribution of frequencies parameterized by the network. We also derive a new initialization scheme with well-behaved activation distributions, preventing activations that tend towards zero in the previously proposed scheme. We train Bacon to represent this image of a lighthouse. To produce a low-resolution output using Siren or Fourier features, we can sample the network on a coarse grid, but this results in aliasing since these networks are not scale-aware. We adapt the scale-aware positional encoding of MIPNER for this task, and after supervision at multiple scales, it learns anti-aliasing. Outputs of Bacon closely match a low-pass filtered reference image, also without aliasing. All methods except for Bacon have artifacts if we finally sample the network outputs at four times the trained resolution. Bacon automatically performs a band-limited interpolation equivalent to zero padding in the Fourier domain and produces a predictable output at these unsupervised input coordinates. Since Bacon is designed to represent discrete frequencies, the output is periodic. 
Here we discretize the frequencies such that Bacon has a period matching the input domain of this seamless texture. Querying the network outside of the trained coordinates results in periodic extrapolation behavior. We show that Bacon can be used for neural rendering and novel view synthesis using neural radiance fields. While MIPNERF achieves the best performance for this task, Bacon outperforms conventional NERF models that are not scale aware. Moreover, since outputs of Bacon at low resolution are taken from intermediate layers of the network, it uses only a fraction of the parameters for rendering at low resolution compared to other methods. Finally, we demonstrate Bacon for representing 3D shapes via the sign distance function. For this task, we train Bacon to fit a sign distance function estimated from a mesh. We compare to Siren, Fourier features, and neural geometric level of detail. All methods achieve comparable performance at their highest detail outputs, and Bacon achieves similar quality despite representing multiple scales simultaneously. We also observe that Bacon produces an interpretable output at multiple levels of detail. Compared to neural geometric level of detail, low resolution outputs of Bacon are much smoother because their Fourier spectra are constrained. In summary, we presented Bacon, band-limited coordinate networks for multi-scale scene representation. This work takes important steps towards making coordinate networks interpretable and scale-aware. We believe Bacon may be useful in many pipelines and vision and graphics for representing and optimizing signals while providing interpretable and transparent behavior.